Hey there, guys. This is actually too much chest. I just realized that. That is... Gotta keep it PG for the, for the children. That's, that's too much. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, tis the season, which means that you gotta go shopping. Shopping's important. You gotta buy things to stimulate the economy so you can buy things so you can stimulate the economy, right? And so, I picked up a few things on Wish. Um, Wish is an app, if you don't know, in which you can buy things like wholesale prices from across the sea, like China or whatever, and by the time you get it, you forgot that you ordered it because that's, that's a caveat. You get it really cheap, but it takes forever. So I picked a few items. I want to go ahead and show you guys these things as well as review certain ones. Um, also, because I'm like a film student person, this is just a really cool opportunity for me to test out my Lazy Susan. So, yeah, let's let's get it. First up on the docket is the Dobie Charging Dock. Um, this is a charging dock thing. Go ahead and so you can see that there. There you go. Um, it charges Joy-Con and your Pro Controller, and it also comes with a nifty little USB-C. From what I can tell, you can charge you can charge uh, two pairs of Joy-Con on there, um, as well as an upside-down Pro Controller. I, I feel like that was why did they put the why did they put it on the top? Okay, I know why they put it on the top. I'm just saying it's just it's weird. I feel like there should have been an optional one on the bottom as well along with a headphone jack, but I don't run Nintendo. All in all, this one, I actually really like this one. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's, I think it's actually um, a really cool thing to have. I have a similar thing for my PlayStation controller. I like just having a little stand for them. That way they can charge and just do their own thing when I'm not there. Because the worst thing that always happens to me is like, uh, people come over and they want to play things, and because I don't play, like, with other controllers all the time, like, I don't play with my spare Joy-Con all that often, so when I pick them up, oh, I forgot to charge these, these were dead. So, it's good to know that they'll have a place they can just sit and charge and just be useful for when I need them. From a design standpoint, I actually really like this. The, the stands in the middle are actually uh, made of acrylic. Uh, they're, they're acrylic. So... Uh, what they do, they have a nice little light on them to tell you when things are done charging. So it'll be like red when it's still charging and then green when it's finished. So um, that's really cool. Uh, inside the box, there really wasn't anything other than the, the charging dock and the um, the cable for the side of it. And I mean, I guess it is pretty, it's pretty straightforward, um, but there is a an on-off switch on the side. So you, it has to be on, not that you'd want it to be off, but if that is something that concerns you, you don't have to go and unplug it all the time, like you're super like energy conscious, um, then yeah, it's you can turn it off. Next up, we have, by random chance, the same brand, um, Dobie. Uh, this is a game card box storage stand. It's 12 per stand. You can fit 12 game card boxes per stand but it comes with two of those stands, so it's 24 games. There's not, there's not really a whole lot to say about this. Um, it's a stand thing. It holds games. However, I will say that this is, um, this is nice to some of like the GameStop alternatives, where it's like that. I have one actually where I keep my PlayStation and Xbox games. Um, it's like a stand, and it holds all your games horizontally. And this is nice or whatever. But the Switch game boxes being smaller. Um, tend to be a little bit more cumbersome to retrieve out of there, so it's just, it's kind of weird, but I don't know. The, these are, these are fine, um, from what I can tell, from what I've used of them, they're fine. I thought I was going to be annoyed by how snugly they fit, but at the end of the day, I'm actually, I actually prefer that. I'm glad that they fit, uh, rather firmly. Um, I tried also, I tried a few things. I tried to space them out, see how they held in. Um, it seems that they, they stay in better when they're closer together, like if they're all on one side as opposed to spread out. Um, so if you like your, if symmetry is your thing, um, this might, again, if you don't, if, if, if symmetry is your thing and you don't have, um, 12 games to fill it, um, it, that might bother you that they don't hold as well, but no, from what I can tell, it, it, it's just, a, it's a nice thing you can put on a bookshelf, which I really like, and they stand vertically as opposed to horizontally, which is cool. Um, 
a while ago, I picked up some stickers for my Joy-Con things, and so it makes it look like a, a face with a tongue. That's not a whole lot to say about that. It's just stickers. And lastly, um, these aren't all Nintendo related, but I did pick up um, some nice little posters. Um, this one is of Octopath Traveler. It's really nice. I like it's just the cover art for Octopath Traveler. Um, but I do I did like that it was printed on this kind of paper, giving it like a an older art look thing. I don't know. I also have no idea what the dimensions are on this, so I don't know how to pick a frame for it. But I'm sure it's on the item description page, so I'll I'll put all the item descriptions down below. But yeah. I got one for Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. It's Link. He's climbing. He's reaching his dreams. He's going for it. That's, that's, we can all learn something from Link. We can. We, we gotta aspire to be, to be better, and not run out of stamina. The stamina is better than hearts. Don't let anyone tell you different. It's true. And lastly, I got. Um, Wolfenstein 2 poster. Uh, this one I actually don't own on the Switch. Um, this game I got it on the PlayStation, I think, or the Xbox. I don't know. I, I got it from one of them, um, mainly because it was like eighteen dollars and it's still like fifty dollars on the Switch. Which is no, still really cool. BJ Blasco is one of my favorite protagonists of all time. Might have to see him on a Hero Unlocked sometime. But yeah, so that's my Switch haul for the wish thing i wanted to do this a long time ago it's just like like i said like wish it comes so late and by the time you get the stuff it's just like who ordered this who, who bought this was was it you anyways thank you so much for watching we definitely do have another hero unlock coming up just around the corner so make sure you stay subscribed for that and all that all that good good stuff I feel like history um, but yeah, I am definitely going to be doing more videos like this because, like I said, I love, edit. I love editing, I love filming all this stuff, it's fun to do, and these are nice and non-scripted, so I can just get all this bleh, out of my out of my throat, out of my face, you know, for you guys, so that you guys can go on Wish and, and buy these things and then forget that you bought them. Alright, you guys have a happy holiday, stay safe, and just love each other. Okay, stay perfect.